How's it going, Skyline? Welcome to the Halloween special of the Skyline News Briefs, and how about those Giants winning the World Series? But now, since it's Halloween, make sure you stay safe, trick-or-treating after you've come back home from the parade, and remember to stay safe while you're partying, too. But now, we have to go back to your Skyline News. In news this week, we have an article on Measure H from TSB staff writer Sharina Singh. The district hopes for the measure to raise enough money to renovate and maintain all three campuses in the district. In other news, we also have an article from Chester Mendoza on the new engineering class that Skyline College is considering in face of the increasing demand from students who are interested in the major. That is all for news this week and now on to features. It's behind me, isn't it? In features this week, we have an article from TSP Futures editor Dave Newlands on the Dia de los Muertos Showcase is happening in the Skyline College Gallery and will run until November 7th. The next showcase in the gallery will be a student digital art exhibition that will run from November 19th to December 2nd. And next year, there will be an art faculty exhibition from February 2nd to March 7th. Last week for Futures, we have an article from TSB staff writer Aaron Perry covering the Campus College Governance Council. That is all for Futures this week and on entertainment. Okay, good. I think I, think I escaped. I think, I think I lost them. In entertainment this week, we have an article from TSB staff writer Daniel Bautista on, on Taylor Swift's new album, 1989, that hit stores October 27th. That's all for entertainment this week. I think he's right behind me now! In, in sports this week, we have two articles from TSB staff writers Terrence Scott on sports betting and students' reactions to it. And the other one being, we have an article from TSB staff writer Tristan Mendoza on why your workout isn't effective. And now we have the results from the games of the past week. In men's soccer, the, the men's faced City College of San Francisco and Hartnell College and lost both matches, putting them at fourth place, now dropping from third place in the Coast North Conference. In women's soccer, they, they won their matches this week, beating both Las Positas College and Chabot College. The Trojans are still at third place with 18 points in the Coast North Conference. However, they are only a single point behind Olón College with City College of San Francisco leads with 20 points. Next page. In, in volleyball, the Trojans faced West Valley and Kenyatta College, losing both matches this past week. The Trojans will be facing Gavilan College on November 4 for their next game. That is all for sports, and back to the newsroom. Please don't.